Dead Shot, American Renegade. He's Floyd Lawton. And he's learned the ways of the force, the police force. He's studying them, and observing their tactics and how they handle crime. Because Deadshot's a gun for hire. And he's, he's recently been studying the coppers a bit, observing them and watching them a bit. Because uh, he needs to be informed on how the police apprehend criminals and how he can evade the police's apprehension. He's been busted a few times and he doesn't like it. No one wants to be behind bars and serving the Suicide Squad. It's not exactly fun. Cold, hard government work. And who wants to serve a government? But he does it. Because Amanda Waller is tough. And she runs a tight ship. And he hangs with Killer Croc and the rest of the crew. And thinks that Harley Quinn is a laugh riot. Captain Boomerang's all right. His cup of tea in many ways. But Deadshot, he's an American renegade. And when the squad are on a mission, this current mission of this American renegade, he busts out from time to time from the special operation that we're involved with. He goes down to the beach and parties, listening to a bit of rock and roll thinking about his daughter and her struggles in life and about his ex. Sipping on a bee and being cool. But this American renegade's got this mission that we're under at the moment with the Suicide Squad. Amanda Waller and Killer Croc and Deadshot are the main three involved with this particular mission, but Harlequin's there and the others. And they're, uh, they're in Africa, in Egypt, on the northern beaches of Egypt. And they're uh, taking on some Egyptian mummies. It's really lame, this story, isn't it? But they're not exactly mummies. It's an Egyptian... jihadist movement which are using mummy robotic warriors looking like mummies because they have a sense of humor and these mummies which are really just terminators in a sense are going around causing havoc in egypt and around the globe and it's the suicide squad's mission to uh infiltrate the, the head location of these jihadis and take them out. Dead shot is a particularly dead shot, isn't he? And throughout the course of this adventure, dead shot's knocking off quite a few mummy warriors with standard designs and variations and things. And uh, ultimately there's a head, head honcho, the head jihadist who uh, dead shot delivers a killing blow too, literally. Deadshot American Renegade, part one.